In using the student force transducer, it's important to calibrate this instrument each time you set it up. In doing so, you have to use the weight hook as well as a second weight. The weight hook itself normally weighs 50 grams and the weight you put on afterwards is kind of arbitrary but normally we do about 100 grams or 200 grams. In order to do this you have to be sure to convert that mass to newtons. So to do so you have to calibrate it at two points. Essentially this device converts forces to voltages. So we have to put 50 grams worth of uh, mass on here to get the requisite voltage. 50 grams is 0.49 newtons. So once we've set that, data, uh, that point in data studio, which will be shown later, we then add a second heavier mass and do the same thing for the second data point. Your equipment for this experiment will consist again of the glider car, the vane, and an assortment of various springs, this being a rubber band and this being a metal spring. In addition, we have the glider track, which of course is frictionless. The force transducer, which should have a little clip on the end of it so that the spring and the rubber band don't catch on the hooks. And one photo gate. In order for this experiment to be a success, we have to measure the, photo, uh, the flag, just simply use this, and enter it in data studio in the requisite spot. That would be the constant section for that device. Furthermore, of course, we have the air pump. Make sure this is turned on. Um, in, as far as your data goes, you also have to calibrate this in accordance with the regular procedure. This velocity, you will have two of them. Data Studio is not that smart, so you have to remember to be careful here. As the glider comes through this photo gate, a positive velocity is recorded. It comes, and as it's in contact with the force transducer, it will register a negative force. This is what you expect. And then once it goes back in the other direction, this photo gate will again register a positive velocity. However, the, this photo gate has no way of telling which direction the, photo, the vein is coming through, so you have to be smarter than the computer and make that negative. In this experiment, we look at, what, at the comparison between the difference in momentum and impulse. So what we do is we measure the velocity of this cart as it goes through the photo gate. It bounces off the force transducer, recording the force versus time, and then bounces back and comes through the gate in the opposite direction. So we're going to do a quick run just to demonstrate this.